conjunctivitis and optic disc swelling, putting the pieces together. This is a case of a young patient who presented to the emergency department with conjunctivitis and reduced vision. They'd actually been diagnosed by their GP with Kawasaki's disease and they had that hallmark typical strawberry tongue that you read about in the textbooks as well. Now, Kawasaki disease is an acute systemic vasculitis that mainly affects children under five years old, but actually this patient was 17 years old. And one of the classic features is bilateral non-purulent conjunctivitis. And that typically presents as redness of the conjunctiva with no discharge. And it actually usually spares the limbal area, which we can hopefully see in this video as well. And the conjunctivitis results from inflammation of the small blood vessels in the conjunctiva due to the underlying vasculitis. And so the conjunctivitis is common and benign, but Kawasaki's disease can rarely cause optic disc swelling. And this occurs through several mechanisms. And it can firstly be related to the systemic inflammatory response. And the, you know, the vasculitis can involve the small vessels supplying the optic nerve head. And that leads to the optic neuritis or papillitis, inflammation of the optic nerve itself. Alternatively, there can be systemic inflammation and that can increase intracranial pressure and that can actually cause papilledema where you get raised nerve head secondary to raised intracranial pressure. Um, so we can see here the optic nerve hopefully in, a, in just a moment. And one feature that I really wanted to show you in this video is the pattern folds, the P-A-T-O-N folds. And those are the concentric circumferential retinal folds that are seen around the optic nerve. Let's have a look if we can just see them, not quite yet. Maybe they already came, I'm sure they're in this video. 